Hello then, uh, good friends of YouTube. I'm just going to show you uh, what I've done with this 55 timer. Um, it's a it's a good thing to uh, try, guys. Um, I read it somewhere on the internet. I can't remember where I read it now, but um, if you actually get a capacitor and put it on the output of your 55 timer across the two wires like that in uh, parallel. Uh, you will notice a difference on the output. Um, it's a lot easier going on the MOSFET. The MOSFET does nowhere near get as hot as it used to, and um, the uh, the output as well as off the flyback is uh, a better output. Uh, the arcs are uh, the bigger, and uh, sometimes they're thicker as well. I mean, if I connect it to, to those two there, of the center pin, that uh, center of the the wires. Um, I get a thicker arc if I do it normally to the, the other side to the each side of the wires um, I get a longer thinner arc of course I'm changing the windings of the input of the flyback but I'll, uh, I'll show you quickly show you the, uh, some of the capacitor, capacitors that I've tried I've already put one on the inside of the I've already soldered one on the inside of the uh, project box with my 55 timer in there so well, some of the just to give you an idea of the some of the ones that did a pretty decent output. Okay, so now I'll show you the outputs. It's actually quieter as well. Oh bloody hell. Hold on one second, I need to put the phone down. Let's connect this up. I've only got 9 volts going into this by the way. Okay, now I'll show you on the other one, on the centre of the wires. How thick that wire is, that uh, that arc is. It's a thick arc that is. It's amazing the output. It's amazing uh, the difference it makes with a capacitor on it.
Oh.